Hello, my name is Frederick, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create products as a supplier. We want to start off by going to the products module on the top right uh, here. And we're going to click new. So the first thing we want to add is the product number or the name. Uh, this can be either numbers or it can be text. It's, uh, it's up to you. I'm going to add just simply the date as a product number in this uh, video. Um, and then we're going to move uh, down uh, the draft or the product status. Uh, you want to keep that as a draft until you're finished uh, creating the product. Because as long as it is a draft, it will not be available to use as a product. Um, once you have finished uh, the product, we can change this to approved and it will be available to use uh, in an order. Um, as a supplier, you don't have to think about these two boxes. We can just simply ignore them, ignore them and keep them empty. Now, below here, we want to start adding the information about the product. Um, so in this example, I'm going to create a product for a round sling. So I simply start adding the information. Just like this. Um, you simply just go through the information that you wish to include uh, right here in your product. And the important part as a supplier is at the bottom here where it says order related. We want to say what kind of action we want to uh, do uh, with this product when we use it in the order module. Um, so the default is going to be no action. But here we want to change it to the one that we um, wish. And, and for the most part, the correct uh, choice for you here is to create the equipment and file the job. This means that when you use this product in a order, uh, the equipment will be uh, created as well as the documentation. Uh, so the forms that you include, so uh, certificates or declaration of conformity and so on. Um, so we're going to keep that on create equipment and file job. And then you can add information here as tested according to, um, and we just include this uh, text right here, um, like so. Um, once we have uh, finished uh, this uh, page right here, and we're happy with the information that we have included, uh, we can click on save. And we can see that more options present themselves at the top here. Um, so properties, if there are information that you wish to include in your products, that you don't find fitting in any of these fields. Uh, you can add your own uh, fields uh, under properties. So let's say we want to include uh, the color, for example, uh, on this round sling, and there's no field for color. So we go to properties and we go to properties on the top here, and we will get a list of the properties that are available on my account. And uh, the ones that says system, are created by us in Onyx, so you will always have those available on your account. Um, those without system here, the, those have been created manually by some of uh, someone in your company on your account. Uh, so here we have a color as an option. If I didn't find color, I can create my own property by just cl clicking on add right here and simply just give it a name at the top here and click save. It will then appear in this list. Um, so I just simply click on color and I click add to list here. And now it is on the product. So if I click save and close, it will show up here on the product. So now I can decide to either leave this um, field empty, which means I would have to type out this information for every order, or I can simply include a uh, color here in the product and this color will be automatically added to the equipment that we uh, produce. Okay, we click save and we can move on to documents. So under documents, you wanna add the documents that are um, going to be equal uh, for every product, or sorry, every equipment that you create from this product. And that will be your user manuals, uh, typically. Um, so to be able to add a user manual here, uh, we go to documents right here and we find it in, in this list. And let me show you how you can um, add uh, documents into this list. 
if we click on base documents right here, we are going to be taken to our settings uh, and base documents. So here I want to upload heavy documents such as user manuals uh, by just clicking add here and uploading from my computer. Uh, so the files that we add here, they can be of a much larger size than just your normal uh, document that you just upload directly to an equipment. So once the documentation has been added to this uh, list right here, we can go to the product. Let me just search that uh, back. And go to documents and we can now add it from the document list right here. So in this case, I want a user manual for slings. So I add that to the list and click close. And we now have that on the product, which means that every equipment created from this product will include this user manual. Now pictures is a self-explanatory here. You can add a picture, simply click add and upload from your computer. And on forms, we say what kind of forms we want to create uh, with this product. Now, this is typically yeah, a certificate or a declaration of conformity. So we want to a add a declaration of conformity. We can choose uh, either one of these. The M means multiple, which means that the uh, declaration of conformity with this M on it will create one document that lists all the equipment that is included in this same order. Uh, this one will create an individual document for each product. You simply just uh, click on the one that you want to uh, add. And here we just want to add some, some basic information um, if we want to. Um, but we can see that the default done by is uh, collected from the uh, form that we created uh, or set up already in our settings. Um, so so uh, we set that the default done by should be the logged on user and the responsible should always be John Smith. Um, so this will happen automatically when we add the form to uh, the product as well. So you simply just add the information that you wish here. Uh, we click save and then we can add a certificate. So a form four, for example, and we do the same thing here. Um, simply add the information that we wish and click save. And there are some more options, um, but uh, for a basic product uh, for a supplier, we don't need to move into these options. Um, this is uh, basically what you want to create a basic product uh, for your um, for your company. And now that we are happy with all the information that we have added, we can go back to main and just remember to change the product status to approved and click save. And this product will now be available to use in the order module.